Hi there, this is Hans Forschner with Napkin Engineering, and this is a short introduction in, in regards to importing spot elevation, elevation lines, and uh, developing a ground model in uh, sound plan. So here what we have is a, a blank page um, in the geodatabase. I'm, I'm importing uh, DXF information. Uh, the DXFS file is called base model new. All right. And I'll import elevation spot heights. So these are coordinates with x, y, and the elevation. And I'll import them in, in one of the layers. Uh, so I have several, two layers set up here. So I'll import that into my spot height elevation. I'll import that, and here we have spot elevations. Now, at this point, the program, it, because it's a DXF file, only knows these are points. So we need to select them all. So you can do that with edit and select all objects or control A. And we do edit and we change the object type to be spot elevations, spot heights. So now we have spot heights. Uh, we can verify the elevation by looking at a front elevation view. So you can see there's a lot of points at the bottom and then it goes up. Uh, we can look at the 3D wireframe. Uh, of course, it's not that interesting because it's really we don't really have anything else in terms of the reference. So next thing that we want to import, we go back, uh, we import the elevation lines. So we import the elevation lines. And we import this layer, uh, in this case, into the elevation line geofile. And here we have now generic elevation lines. Um, so the program at this point still doesn't know that these are lines. So here we are, have generic lines. So we need to convert them. So we look at the current object type. We select them all and then convert them again. Control U or, yep, and we convert them to elevation lines. Okay, so now we have all the different objects, uh, elevation points, spot heights, and elevation lines and we can uh, create a digital ground model. So we do that on the fundamentals, DGM, and here we can load if you already have one uh, created in the project. We can calculate or we can calculate a temporary DGM. For right now, I'll just do a, a calculate temporary DGM, and uh, we can look at that. So I'll go into the 3D wireframe. Well, actually, let's turn on the triangles first. So here you can see the, the methodology, how the uh, ground triangles are generated. The program uh, looks for the smallest triangles. From a point, it can go in all the directions, like a spider web, and along the elevation lines. The triangles actually have to follow the elevation lines. Um, we can uh, look that in a 3D view. So here you have a little bit of a better idea now what this looks like. And another view, if you have the 3D graphics in sound plan, is uh, the 3D map. And the 3D map actually shows us uh, with a hidden line, hidden surface algorithm, what it looks like. And we can uh, pan with a shift and the mouse, we can look, uh, look around. There's a few things that uh, I would kind of modify looking at these triangles. Uh, for example, here there's a pass through, there's a bridge going over a rail line. So there are a few things that are maybe not quite as uh, clean in terms of the triangles that are generated. If, uh, if you want to make uh, like animations and so on, you, and, and if, that's, if you have receivers that are close by to some of those areas, you may want to update the ground information to get a little bit of a better information there. Here you can also see the triangles. Uh, the, tri uh, the triangulization is probably not following quite right the, the hill line. Uh, also behind uh, this the ridge line, the triangles are getting pretty far or pretty long. And that's just the indication that there's just not enough information here. So one of the things that we can do here to improve uh, this model is uh, we can uh, look at, for example, this elevation line, and uh, we can add additional points here, and uh, basically artificially uh, adjust the elevation line. Let me just add a point after. So we'll just kind of uh, interpolate here. 
this this point this is probably causing some uh, funny triangles here so I'll, I'll delete this one point here um, we can select this and then just add a couple points here and that's good and uh, maybe even uh, extend that out to this point all right uh, and then here we can also maybe take this point this is all at 120 meters We'll take this out and uh, move that out here. This will also kind of like improve like these long triangles that we here have on this side. And uh, we can maybe move this one out here too. All right. Uh, in terms of like the bridge area right here, I uh, would uh, maybe add an additional elevation line here. So what we can do is uh, we select elevation line and I'll just put a few points here. And this is with 120 meters that's the basic height here and uh, so I'll just go around this area with 120 meters I'll click new make sure that they are all that the coordinates of this line is all 120 meters execute and then I'll do the same thing uh, on the south side so I'll copy this and I'll move that over here uh, move those points and move that around this area here and with that we have additional information that will basically clean out or clean up this this scenario here maybe here and we do another temporary calculation you can look at the triangles so now the triangles they follow the this ridge area all right and let's look at that in 3d map and yeah it's definitely cleaned out this area cleaned out this area and uh, the triangles here on the side uh, maybe one last thing here is uh, maybe add an additional point right here so we'll look at that and uh, what we could do is we can just copy this point um, and put that under the spot elevations maybe right here and another one right here and uh, we'll do another temporary view and now it looks much better here all right so this is kind of like how you update your ground model uh, so that it's consistent uh, with the terrain that you have in your project and uh, also verify that in terms of the 3D view so this is the first section on elevation input